we are back at it again here at Charlotte. This time doing some B-Fixed racing. Last time we had a terrific run going in the A-Fix car. 45 laps, there's nothing we can do. So go ahead and strap that TV down because we're going for a ride. Subscribe if you're digging the content and let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to have to do some driving if I want to win this one, but I feel like it's one we can win, man. I think we just got to use our head, be smart, nail it restart, avoid all the crashes, save the tires. We have two sets of tires here today. We got to be smart with when we take them and how we use them. The pace car is in and the green flag is waving. Here we go, boys. They are not even attempting to go up from a three wide, boys. Man, that car dropped the nuke already headed into turn number one. We're going to clear the bottom. Let's be smart. We have cleared the bottom. Let's be patient. Some of these guys are going to burn their tires up. I got to make sure I'm not going to be one of them. I mean, you see them behind me. Everyone's just threading every needle right now. They're going to crash. I mean, just look at them in front of me, man. It ain't like they're going to make it very long. We just got to be on our toes for when that does happen. It does look like we are going to survive lap number one. Big check up here in front of me. That's going to run me right back into the picture as we're trying to crack the top 20. But we are so far from the front, man. How are we going to do it? Back at the one spot, he has smacked the wall up there. Contact in front of me nearly. Here we go, underneath the 88 car. Let's seal that deal. Put it up to position number 20. Now fighting for the 19th position. Hopefully we can get that 12 a nice little shot or potentially take him three wide here. I don't think I'm going to take him three wide. It's too early for that mess. But I'm trying to get him up on the wheel a little bit so I can clear that 88. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I feel like the car is coming to me, man. I feel like we're going to be there come the end, but I got to watch this guy behind me because he's trying to make a move right now. Speaking of making moves, here we come underneath car number 12. Trying to get around him. If we can just hold his door, not an easy thing to do. You don't want to push it too hard as well. Let's get that side draft. Come on, man. Get that side draft. Try to run him a little bit high. Going into turn number three. That may be all we need to do. Clear high, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I was not clear high at all. Whoa! 12 into the wall. Heavy right there. Had a bell out of the gas to keep from running them over. Let's go put me up a 19th. We're side by side. This guy is the definition of I don't want to save my tires and I'm going to race for every inch. Which is expected come the end of the race. I feel like it's a little bit too early for it. Now we do got a tough field on our hands. So we got to keep that in mind. 12 just got the wall again, man. We got to make a pass on the grass here. I'm just full of throttle in this baby. Luckily, we sealed the deal and got around him. Whoa, smoke ahead. Watch out, boys. Watch out. This ain't over. This ain't over. This ain't over. This is going to cause some big checkup down the back straight away. Everyone's door slamming everyone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is a mess. I'm going to have to thread a needle. We made it happen. Put the yellow flag out. My gosh, that was scary. I mean, I don't think I really did anything all that weird. You came down the track so late in the morning. I mean, man, I, that wasn't even a car length of a gap for me to be inside line. I mean, he still took a picture nose in there. Quick update we're running in position number 12. You guys came up hit row to get damage repaired. Looking behind me, there's not many guys back there, but the guys behind me are on four new tires. They are a little beat up. We're going to keep on marching up to the front, man. That said, the clock is ticking. Time is running out. Let's go time here. Waiting on the leader to go. They're bringing them very slow. We got to be careful. A wheel spin here with a little bit older tires on it. Green flags out. The guys in front of me did not get going as good as I did. I had to crack the throttle a little bit there. It hurt me a tiny bit. These guys behind me may eat me up with the four new tires. All I can do is throw this baby in as deep as possible. They may not be able to hold it with four new tires. As their grip level is going to be very low. The 20 is going to go around me right there. Door bumper clear, but here we come. Back to the bottom. 
but not without getting a little bit loose there. A little bit aggressive from my part, but we're going to dial it back a little bit here as we're holding on to the 13th position behind car number 20. I think tires was probably the right call right there. Unfortunately, we probably didn't make the right call because that 20 is going to take flight and he's going to go to the front. But getting through the traffic may not be an easy task. I think I'm going to be looking for another yellow flag here in the next 5 or 20 laps. Hopefully we get it. Everyone is getting very racy up inside the top 10, so there's a good chance that that does happen. This is a matter of time, and hey, you never know what you're going to get here on iRacing. I'm just going to run my race, save my tires, do everything I need to do. The leader's looking a little bit sideways up there. This could check up the entire field as a few guys nearly got the wall. One guy was up there in the grass trying to make a pass. So hold your breath. Here we go. Core to the wall. Is he going to survive? He is, and he's going to hop back down to the bottom. This may shake everyone up a little bit down the back straight away. That 27 is fading a tiny bit as the 20 is going to get around him with four new tires, and this could open up the door for me to get around him as well. Not with four new tires, but we are going to push it to his inside. Try to throttle up here. Try to seal that deal and get it done. Off turn number four. Going to the wall in front of me, but we're going to hold his door, and that's going to put me back up to the 12th position as we just cleared him. Another one into the wall up there, man. These guys are just smacking it every single time going in a one. I am stepping my pace up a little bit, but I'm also being very aware just in case we go green flag racing to the end. Man, I am so jealous of that 20 on 40 tires. Like, I am so jealous. That guy made the right call, and you're just seeing it. I mean, that guy is able to do stuff that we can't do, and it's only a five-lap difference. But this track will eat your tires alive. But what I have over him is I have two sets of tires on pit road. I don't know if I'm going to need both sets of tires, but I have them both on pit road if they're needed. Top three up there is getting extremely racy for the lead. When is it time to pull the pin out of their grenade and go for the win? Another one nearly smacked the wall. Here we go. Is this going to be three wide down the front straight away? Back down to two wide. A 20 is going to force the issue. Not going to quite happen. I feel quick right now, man. I feel really quick. Just trying to eat these guys up in front of me. Here we go. This is going to be a good launch off turn number two. We'll be enough to track on the green and get any of these positions. Where do you want to be, top or bottom, man? They're checking off everywhere. Trying to sneak underneath the 38. Almost three wide. I had to back out of it right there. That 20 is going to get up there on the outside and really start tearing them up on the outside. But will he get held up by the cars in front of him? I think he has to take them three wide. There's just no other way. He's going to get held up so bad if he does not take them three wide. I don't want to go up there because I don't feel like they're going to move, man. But my pace is picking up heavy right now. Here we go. Big checkup. That outside definitely is not working. We're going to get to the inside of the 20. He's trying to run me down the racetrack. Bro, I don't know why you did that. I was clearly down there. You got yourself turned. He just drove me like I wasn't even there, man. I was there the entire straightaway. He just kept coming down. He thought I was going to give it to him. I drew the line. This is an opportunity to take four new tires, reset it, re-rack them, hopefully not wreck them up again, but it's always a possibility. So we're going to put that incident behind us and hope it doesn't carry forward. Waiting on the leader of fire off here, man. Hopefully we can just drive away from the 20 and there's no issues moving on. Oh boy, here we go. Ring flags waving, four new tires on the car. Remember, it's going to be a little bit loose here with four new tires on the car. Knock this baby a fourth gear. See what we have here in front of us, man. I'm going to launch it through here. Hopefully it doesn't bobble on me or get, any, or get loose. I'm going to try to get down. The 20 has made his way to my inside. We're going to fire down the back straight away. And here we go, man. Top or bottom, where do you want to be? There's a lot of blocking up ahead on me. I'm going to find my way all the way down to the bottom. Oh, big bobble ahead. This is big. They're checking up. We got a spinner. Hold on to her, man. Hold on to her. Three wide bottom. And we're going to get the two for one deal just like that. Fortunately, let's continue driving this baby to the front, man. Let's continue driving to the front. The 20 is going to jab his nose in there. He didn't cut me an inch. I don't blame him. I still believe he wrecked himself, but I'm going to be a little bit patient with him. 
as he is going to make his way to my inside. We're going to try to fight back to the outside here. We're currently running in the seventh position on the outside. Man, it's hard to get back down to the bottom once you go high. That's why it's so important to get down to the bottom when you can. Right there coming off turn number four, still side by side for it. Not a lot of room. We're fighting it out here from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Man, I'm going to bleed up here on the outside if I do not get down to the bottom. I got to find a hole. I got to get down. It's not easy, but I got to get down. Nobody's going to give me that hole either. They're just going to keep jabbing their bumpers in. I can't force my way down there, but I got to find a way to get down there. Whoa, door slammed by the prime car. Trying to hold it up high. Let's see if this is enough momentum to eventually get back down to the bottom. Not enough yet. There is a hole behind him, but that's going to put me all the way down to the 12th position. Maybe even 13th as the 28th is going to take it. And if you think we're done wrecking, think again, boys. These guys are nuts in front of me. We got some psychopaths in this lobby. I feel like nobody's really conserving right now. Everyone's pushing it way harder than they need to. I'm saving my tires this run, and that's going to allow me to run them down come the end of it. You're seeing that with the cars in front of me. These guys that aren't saving as much, they're going to start falling in. We're there. He's not going to give me the bottom. We're going to have to kind of force our way in there. Maybe he is going to give me the bottom because he just overdrove it, but it's going to get tight. Multiple cars into the wall in front of me. Not the best pass, but we got the pass done. Put it up to 12. We definitely have more of a long run car here today, man. A long run speed is way stronger than the short run. We are miserable on the short run. But as soon as the tires begin to burn, we're just running these guys down. Here we come to the bottom groove underneath the 16 trying to throttle up here i don't think it's gonna be enough but he's gonna get very tight will he throw a block on me we're gonna go low potentially get that pass done going in a turn number three and four i don't know how hard he's gonna fight me for it i got on the brakes man and this thing is not handling great but i am willing it trying the best i can do he may slide up a little bit on my outside and that's exactly what's gonna happen we're gonna get the pass done put it up to 11. they're side by side for 10th ahead of me leader is only a 10th quicker than me at the moment and that was with a pass on that lap so that's tells me we are one of the fastest cars on the track currently because we saved our tires for the first 10 laps of that run. If we stay green, this could be a top five run. If we stay green, if we get a yellow, this may all go out the window and everything could get shaken up. I'm hoping we stay green here because look at, look at this wad of cars in front of me and now we are just running them down in a hurry right now, man. The 23 is for 10th, top or bottom, where do we go? I don't want to get off that bottom because I don't know if we'll be able to recover. So I think I'm going to try to keep it down there and continue to pick these guys off. A lot of them's moving up to the top anyway, regardless. Power drive off turn number four. Put it inside the top ten. Now looking at ninth, eighth, and seventh here in front of me. Hopefully we can get them all this time by. They go three wide. It may give me the opportunity to cut them four wide. I don't want to be that dangerous, but hey, we got a fast car right now. Heavy drive off turn number four. Another opportunity, man. Just where do you take it? Where do you take it? Maybe they'll fall in a line. Maybe not. Here we go, trying to get down to the bottom. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to stick my nose in contact. The five is going to get ran over because of that. Maybe we can get the two for one deal here as they are checking up. I don't know if we're going to get around the five, but here we go to his inside. There's one for the eighth position, and I believe we're going to get it done right there at the line. Time by is going to be 10 to go. The five is fighting me on the outside, but it's not going to matter because we are going to clear him off turn number two in front of me. Car into the wall. That's the third position. Are they wrecking up there on the apron? He's going to recover. He's going to save it. But he definitely got some damage on his car. We are now fighting for the seventh position with 10 remaining. I think we're going to get all the way up to fifth. Maybe more. I'm hoping my pace doesn't drop off. I haven't really picked up my pace. I've just been saving ever since, and these guys are just coming to me right now. As they're side by side again, that battle may not be over. It does look like it's cleaning up a little bit up there. But tempers can blow over at any moment. And it could be complete chaos. Now this 13 is not going to give me the bottom. So I got to get close, man. Make him overdrive it like I'm doing right now. Maybe he'll slip up coming off turn number four and we'll be able to get it done. Couple cars into the wall ahead of me. They're getting harder a pass. But we definitely still got speed in those cars. They're going to go side by side in front of me. This opens the door for another opportunity. A 13 may overdrive it here. I'm going to throttle up pretty heavy. See if we can follow that eight car through. But that 13 is on the freaking move, man. Stop group maybe the way to go here to get around the eight car. I mean, the 13 just made it happen potentially. I don't know. I'm just going to let them overdrive it, see what happens. Unfortunately, I'm going to probably become the big loser off this deal if I can't get underneath the eight. We're going to do it right there. I had to bell out the throttle so much to get to his inside. Now that we're to his inside, I think we're going to get the seventh position going on a one. We are wasting a lot of time back here. 
which is very unfortunate. If you can just get them to the outside, they tend to overdrive it and kind of give it to you anyway, just like that. It's just a matter of getting them in that position, and it's not the easiest thing to do. Now that i am kind of got the upper hand here, I believe I'm going to be able to clear him off turn number four because he's going to get pretty aggressive. I just got to be patient. There you go, just like that, man. Prime example of how you get it done around here. 13's into the wall. Here we go, boys. You want some off-roading? I think we did it, man. Look at that pass. Dale Earnhardt mode here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And guess what? That has put me up to the sixth position. Now looking for a top five. I know this 20 core is not going to make it easy for me if I'm away to the fifth position. But at this pace, we're going to get to him, and we're going to have to race it out here. It's a matter of not beating yourself. That's the tricky part around here. Just do not beat yourself. Man, if this was a longer race, we may win it. We're there to the 20. I believe he's going to leave the bottom open for me. I'm curious how hard he's going to race me. When we were side by side before, he definitely jabbed in a little bit harder. So I think it's going to be a heck of a battle with him. Oh, he's sideways up there. He's stepping it up, man. He wants his fifth position. He doesn't want to go down. Three remaining. I mean, we're gaining so much every lap. I just need to back my pace up, man. If I push it too hard, I'm going to lose too much. I got to back it up and let him beat himself here. That's how we've been getting all these positions just like that. Now the outside is going to be open where we can go up there and try to get around the 20. He's going to run me very high. But we're going to slam the door, put it up to the fifth position on the bottom groove. Now let's go see if we can get fourth. Just two laps to go, man. My heart is racing here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is nuts. What a race, though, man. Top five is well over my expectations going into this one. I really thought it was going to be a struggle home track for me. I love racing here. I need to be careful. I don't get loose. You really just got to run the track, man. This is definition of race the tires, race the track, not your competitors. As you've seen about every pass we made on this march up to the front, it wasn't just going out and taking it and being aggressive. It was literally just letting them come to me, being patient, being careful, and gaining them when we could. We got one lap to go here from Charlotte. It is the white flag. I've checked out from the guy behind me. No pressure. Guy in front of me just majorly overdrove turn number one and two, but I'm a little loose right there. Got to hold on to her. Tire wear is bleeding for me. I went a little bit hard there with five remaining, but we're still faster than everyone in front of us. So it's a little disappointing that we didn't get the win here today, but very satisfying that we saved the tires like this and made it all the way to the end. Checkered flag, position number five from Charlotte Motor Speedway. I'll take that one for sure. Go back and take a look at it. Right here, you see the 20. He's on 40 tires. His car is ridiculously quick right now for that very reason. We gotta be smart of getting around him, and he's being held up on the outside. There's nowhere for him to go, and unless he wants to cut him three wide, he just has nowhere to go. I know he's getting impatient. He knows if he doesn't get down to the bottom, he's gonna bleed some positions. We tried to take him three wide right here. Didn't quite work. I snuck down to the bottom groove and got my bumper in, and he just kept coming down, kept coming down. We're going to take another look at it because that view didn't really show anything, but uh, obviously no damage, and he's still got the sixth position. This view should really show everything. I got to the inside, and I was under the white line, and he just kept coming down. I drew the line. He spun out. No hard feelings, man. I mean, I... I didn't mean to touch him, it just happened. Now before we end today's video, I would like to thank all my Patreon supporters, my DLB TV Tier 1 supporters, for fueling the DLB TV Racing League. The DLB TV Racing League will be open to all Discord members to jump on in, and that is thanks to the supporters over on Patreon. So now it's time for a special shout out to my Tier 2 VIP members over on Patreon. Starting off with Brian Oshinska, CHTV, Christian Elliott, it. DJ Sakima, Derek Dorsey, Josh Stoltz, and finally Timothy Stubblefield. The DLB TV recently schedule is on the screen now, and you can find a link to the Discord down in the description. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next one.